I am the Dirkly Well, and this is your Daily Dose of Minecraft. If you enjoy these kinds of videos, make sure that you're subscribed to never miss an episode. Only around 30% of you that actually watch my videos are subscribed. Thank you. This video is sponsored by Outplayed, but more on that later. For our first clip, Chorus Fruit just scares me. And I love how the first reaction this guy has was just to zoom in with the spy glass. His player was trying to pull a fast one and block off the player whilst he was trying to jump over, and then this happened. Rest in peace, he'll never tell any of his friends anything about this. Ooh. He's taken this one to his grave. General Wanderer is showing us the correct way to use structure blocks in Minecraft, and it's terrifying. Now use those same structure blocks to make a giant flamethrower and kill this thing, please. In Effort is showing us a sneak peek of a new mob coming to the Wanderous Wilds, which is a new mod that adds in some new mobs. This zombie just forgot what he was doing and just started to, you know, vibe. You know, when they're not running at you with speed 3000 trying to kill you, they're kind of cute. Now this one is cool. IMDVZ is showing off his wooden skill he created with the use of plugins, and it's actually a really cool effect. Grammy Norma has added physics to explosions. Well, the physics aspect is pretty good, but the gravity more matches Jupiter than the Earth. The gravity is just a tad aggressive, but the effect is cool. Wait, you guys are still manually recording everything? Rest in peace your hard drive. With Outplayed, you can just play and it will record the action automatically, saving you time, storage space. What happens if you got an ace and it wasn't recorded? Giving you peace of mind that nothing important was missed. What's important to you, whatever you want it to be. Could be kills, deaths, assists, one of your aces, and all the above. Whatever you pick will come from the timeline ready for you to immediately trim down. You want to send something that just happened, aka an ace or a clutch, to your friend on Discord. Boom. Done. Tons of supported games and the list is only growing. Use my link in the description and on the pinned comment to download Outplayed for free. You can even use it to submit clips to this show. Flubber Schnub, that's a pretty fun name to say, has figured out how to activate and go into the deep dark portal. And it turns out this is what's waiting for you on the other side. Data pack link down below. <laughs> Actually, this is why you don't mine at night. Powdered snow plus carpet equals better hay bale. Bosco Winx has just died and lost his world. Oh wait, what's happening? Oh, never mind. My mind has been blown by this. Some of the dedication players have to make these really cool things will always just cease to amaze me. The tools even have a durability bar, I mean that's just attention to detail. Chris Dakao built Starry Night in Minecraft. This is incredible and the 3D effect he's done with the sky is just actually like, I mean, I don't even know what to say to be honest, it's just so amazing. It took Chris over a month to create and it really does show because you can see the amount of detail he's put into this. He made a YouTube video about it, so if you want to go check it out, link in the description. Enjoy this RTX and Shaders light show. Here's a cool but pretty useless fact for you guys. If you put two oak wood trapdoors side by side, a face appears. What do you do with that information? Anything you want. 
This one's kind of scary. Elder Ski has created this shadow creature that can only be killed by light and fire. And this is what it looks like in game. Rest in peace man, rip those 30 levels. Oh wait, never mind, he clutched it, what a chad. That Forks villagers have been doing this for a few days now, and I'm starting to think they like each other, I'm not sure though. He's asking you guys what does he do in this situation, so if you have any advice put it in the comments and I'll relay that back to him. Because apparently they're still doing it. After months of work, Lazy Artis is finally done transforming the end. And he's also asking for feedback on what he should change next. Also I like how the guy has a Lazy in his name, but he just spent two months working on this insane build project. I mean that's not lazy at all. This is the most overpowered armor stand you'll ever see, and it's ready for all situations. It's a shame that Java armor stands can't hold weapons. I present you with the dumbest, scariest, and luckiest moment in Austin's Minecraft playing history. Everything went wrong, but everything went right at the same time. For context, this was the last ship of many, and he had three elytras, tons of shulkers, and a few dragon heads. Callum was just exploring his world, then he noticed that the lilies of the valley will actually have their petals and leaves change depending on what direction you're looking at them from. I didn't know that, so that's pretty cool. What's going on here? Let me know in the comments. What do you think is happening? Is it a mating dance, or is he just happy that he's free? I have no clue how this player did this, and I even read his explanation, which still left me kind of confused. But one thing I do know is that I want one of these in my base, because they make ladders just look so bad. I know ladders will be faster, but this is just so cool. It's called a seamless piston worm elevator, and it's the first I've seen of it. And apparently it uses a pufferfish player detector, whatever that is. A player by the name of Lucy has created this pyramid with a nice surprise at the top. They said in their post that they aren't good at building, but this is a pretty good build, which I guess in theory would technically make you a good builder. Yeah, Bedrock Edition is perfect. Skill issue, I think. But why did he die for no reason? Like, come on, man. <laughs> That's rough. This player is performing a temple heist, and they never saw it coming. This is the real Mission Impossible, the one I want to see anyway. This is the non-Euclidean house, made possible with immersive portals. And apparently it took Ultra Leo many many days to create this and pull it off, and it shows. There are some really trippy moments in here. On the last episode of the series, we showed off this player that used an AI to create a sustainable village. And that AI could actually build and hunt for resources. However, this time, the same player is making sure they don't take over the world, and is now battling that very same AI. I wonder who win, and I really do hope it's the player, if not, we're doomed.
Albert Kahn has been working on this for months. The end result is amazing. Enjoy. You can actually use the mangrove root as a T flip flop. Chester's world is a little old. How does this even happen? Oh, it's bedrock. Best not to ask. I'm kidding, I do like bedrock edition. This is the closest Minor Age has ever been to losing a world, and it gets intense in some parts. His heartbeat must have doubled at the end of this. Eurobar34 is showing off a prototype of a minigame that he's currently working on, and it actually looks like a lot of fun, and would be the perfect puzzle or game map for players to download. While I made it this far into the video, so you must have enjoyed it right, please make sure you left a like, comment, and subscribe. Every interaction you give this video and my channel really does go a long way. YouTube thinks you'll like the video on screen right now, and I do too, so please make sure that you clicked. Have you clicked it? You're still here? Hello? Anyways, thank you for watching.